started and then my dick got hard. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. that is. Oh shit, uh, we're recording. Yeah, yeah, no, we just started. Whoops, that's all. That's live. We're actually live this whole time right now. Twitch TV. Media, episode three of Neat Trash, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe it? Ooh. They, uh, they you said. Know. I honestly can't. <laughs> they say they, uh, uh, world wars happen in threes. <laughs> they uh, scraped the bottom of the barrel and uh, under the, underneath their fingernails was a little bit of neat trash. And they're like, yeah, I guess we'll go with that. <laughs> so, hey, but we're back. This was the uh, best of the worst. <laughs> there's a. Uh, uh, a few people here with us tonight, uh, you know, from the uh, previous episodes. Uh, Nick, Nick, you're here with us tonight. Hey, yeah, you know what? I am here. Uh, who, uh, who, who to thunk is is what I heard. <laughs> and Ed, Ed is also with us somehow. Somehow, and and the the greenest of all the anime fans that we have currently. Yep. Uh, yes, I am. So there's been a lot of developments in in your world of anime. We'll get into that in a little bit, but yeah, no, no, no uh, rush, no rush. Oh yeah, no, 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 no rush at all. But like, just just know, listeners, like, if you had the ability of like a crash course of anime, uh, if you could follow his his Ed's footsteps, don't uh, you? You no, <laughs> no, yeah, just don't. Fucking don't. <laughs> <laughs> I barely manage that. <laughs> Ooh. Um so so yeah, we we uh are here. We got uh, a few things to talk about tonight. I mean there's a there's a lot that's gone on since the last time we've had uh our our last episode. Uh a, a whole season has changed uh in anime. Uh we've had uh currently are in the summer 2021 season, you know, uh and uh you know obviously we just finished with the spring so a whole lot of stuff to talk about uh first can, off can i ask you a quick question yeah yeah uh, does the uh seasons of anime match with the lunar calendar uh, it, it it matches uh with uh the chinese lunar calendar yes oh okay because they have it's, a different moon yeah yeah, yeah that's, that sounds about right it's japanese but they, they're like this is the one thing we're, we're cool with <laughs> mm. um that. so that is confusing. Uh, uh, it's 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 only uh, confusing if you really think about it. <laughs> All you gotta do is learn to read Japanese, and then you'll be fine. Easy peasy. There's only a hiragana, katakana. There, you got to get into the kanji of it all, but you'd be fine. You'd yeah, be set. Straight moon rooms. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so so I got to learn to read Japanese to understand the Chinese lunar calendar. Got it. Mm -hmm. That's uh, how it's taught. Yes. I mean, exactly. we just explained it to you. What's the problem? We are experts, Ed. <laughs> I, 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 sure. I mean, sure. I, I'm willing to believe that. Um, I really hope you don't. Please, please don't <laughs> take that to heart. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, let, let's go ahead. Let's get into it. Ed, you uh, had quite the adventure uh, just recently. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it, the adventure is continuing from what I understand. It, um, it, it's it's slowed down, but yes, it is continuing. Oh no, it's slowed down. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Well, oh, you did so get that's hard in the paint, huh? <laughs> mm, no. You you did get through a lot, uh, in my opinion, a lot of not quite diamond clear part of it. But uh, Ed, you have been doing a crash course in in uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yes. Uh, and so, it was it was enjoyable. enjoyable enjoyable and then it was really good oh, oh. no <laughs> and then something happened yeah when you said was <laughs> not a good sign <laughs> exactly <laughs> no like the first uh you know i started i started the uh, with the with new Jonathan. one the new series i guess uh the 2012 one the one that starts with jonathan and uh, yeah, I was like, okay, this is cool. Like, it's it's clearly building up to something. And the only thing I knew about JoJo was one that there was a previous OVA, and two, uh, like the entire the entire first two seasons of it. I was like, where the fuck is his hat? 
Because <laughs> that's uh, the only one I knew. Oh, okay. So you were unaware that this was going to be a an, an anthology, if you will. Yeah, I, I did not know that. So, uh, you know, the first season I got through it, I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty interesting. Then they introduced Joseph, and I was like, oh, he looks somewhat familiar. I, I'm th- I think I'm on the right track. <laughs> And I watched through that, and I was like, "Oh, this is this is pretty funny." Yeah, and it, you know, it still got some uh, dramatic effect and whatnot. And overall, it was it was better than the first season. And I was like, "Oh, you know, uh, I appreciated it. I liked it. It kept me interesting." Then I got to start as Crusaders. Yeah, that's and the one. That's the gateway drug that's of JoJo. What everybody knows. And I was like, <laughs> "Oh my damn!" Yeah. Like first off, I was like, "There's the fucking hat." Yeah, <laughs> this, this is, is what I know. I know. This is what I know. <laughs> this is what Netflix has as their fucking thumbnail. Yeah. So oh, they I was do. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah they do. So, so I was like, all right, this is him. The first uh, seasons, you were just watching JoJo, but once they got to JoJo, then you were like <laughs> really invested. Yeah. Well. Okay. So. So yeah. Sort of. I was like, okay, this is the one that I'm I'm most familiar with. Then and uh, I started watching it. I continued to watch it. I watched it all in a day and stayed up till 3 a.m. watching it. Oof. Mm. That sounds like <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. I was like, oh, man. This is, this is really freaking good. And I did appreciate the, the running gag with the rock names and the rock songs and all that crap. It didn't, didn't sound th- like you were at first. <laughs> no, no. It sounded like you were just getting pissed at it. Yeah. Like, how, I, how dare I, they do this? I kind of I kind of was, and I kind of wasn't, because I was like, okay, really? That's fucking stupid. And then I was like, then I started to appreciate it. I was like, okay, okay, okay I see what you did there. Fucking ACDC, I get it. You spell it wrong, or you spell it different, but I get it. Yeah. No. Yeah. And uh, so I watched all of that. So the next day, I'm like, oh, yeah, fuck. I'm going to watch the next season. Like, I'm going to start it now. Then I started it. And, yeah, Diamond is Unbreakable. Yeah, uh, it's unbreakable. Is something. It <laughs> is like I said. My first problem was it, is that that motherfucker's not a JoJo. He's just a Joe. Yep. You know, fucking Joe. Yeah. Jo- uh, Joe Skay. Yeah. Yeah. No, fucking Joe. Jo- no, Joe Skay. No, that's oh. Joe Skay. Yeah, yeah, it is Joe Skay. Yeah, Jotaro is hat. Jotaro. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, real JoJo is it has a hat. Um. Yeah, Josuke was a annoying ass character, <laughs> <laughs> and the good thing, the thing I appreciate about the other three seasons was that there was a clear cut villain from the very beginning of each season, and this one was like, let's introduce him like twenty two episodes in. It, it, it's like for the longest, for the longest, it, it is a, like a. The like, so you guys got me watching Lucifer right now. Mm-hmm. It is that procedural drama uh, aspect of it all. It's not even like you know, this is the this it, it, it's not, it doesn't feel like it's Dio from the start, you know. It, it, it's just you know, guy who has a water stand and is gonna, you know, if you drink it, you're screwed kind of thing, you know, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, because I like to think of it like a D&D campaign where, yes, you have your big bad who you're ultimately going to fight, but you got to make it up through these mini bosses. Mm -hmm. And so you you go through the it's more the journey, not the end destination. Yeah, but but (laughs) the thing with that adventure. (laughs) No, the the thing the thing about this season is that like. The, the previous ones, yes, that's how it was. You had to, you know, plow through minions and whatnot to fight, fight Big Boss, and you know? But he was always there. This one was was just, okay, first guy is that water stand guy. And then uh, the two brothers. Oh, right, yep. Then I befriend one brother. Then... <laughs> random assortment of people who I may or may not have to fight. I just have to encounter them. Like the chef guy. Oh, the chef guy. Yep. It was like, 
Really? That was a whole freaking episode. That was like 22 minutes that I didn't need to watch. Whoa, an anime with filler? Do go on. <laughs> oh, no. no, no, I, 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 I understand. Anime Says a with guy filler. who likes watching DBZ. <laughs> no, no, again, like, I understand anime with filler, but it was like I didn't need to fucking know about this guy with tomatoes. <laughs> But, you know? but what you needed to know was, was when when Josuke and and Piccolo uh, go and try to <laughs> <laughs> pass their driver's test. <laughs> hey. I'm thinking the same thing. <laughs> hey, that that is a very memorable filler episode. It really is. It's linked <laughs> up there. I'm like, just you. Yeah. If you think filler, that's the first one you think of. That that one, yes, because and the only and the. Only reason is because one, they go try to drive, and two, I will always remember uh, Pickle's shirt. Oh, what was the? It was the yellow, it, and it said, "What did it say?" Post boy. Post boy. So Which dumb. Post boy. I have no fucking clue what that means, but it just is it always makes me laugh I don't when think I see that. Does the Japanese who put it? On. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So we got a little off track there. Yeah, <laughs> so. no, but like, uh, you know. It, it just it felt very villain of the week, and sometimes the villain wasn't even a villain. Yeah, you know. Or uh, and then finally, when they actually did start introducing a villain, I was just kind of checked out, and I didn't like the characters to begin with. So I was like, all right, like they should have used Jotaro, uh, Jotaro again. And I made it through, thankfully. Now I'm in Italy. Oh man, Italy mm. is is so nice. <laughs> How is the weather in Italy nowadays, David? Uh, <laughs> is there a golden wind passing every day? Double <laughs> blue. Yeah, somebody's passing golden wind. I, That's for I, I, like, I like golden wind, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. I am trying. Um, but I will say this. I haven't watched it in like a couple of days, so mm. I'm only like five episodes in, I think. Yeah. Uh, but is it coming from somebody who does like the idea of Italy? You come uh, seeing what the Japanese think Italians are? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do like that because it is interesting to see that. It's like so, oh, this is what they think Italians are like. Like the motherfucker dresses like Power Girl. He's got a big thing on his chest, a big freaking hole, big cleavage hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then, uh, but I will say this, the one thing that it does have over the other one is the end credit song. Like I told you guys, like Joe to see, <laughs> I was like, okay, you guys, you guys, you're making me like you more than the previous one. Yep. <laughs> so that's how they get you. Yeah. It, it, it's the music. That's what it is. And that's what, like, I think it's what I appreciate Jojo a lot for is because like the music is definitely more arranged. Oh yeah. Uh, than I thought it was going to be because, like, for a while it was just, oh, these are classic rock people, you know, and then it, it starts to go, you know, from there. I, I guess is the best thing to say. Yeah, because the, uh, yeah, the uh, the artist who originally created JoJo loved like American rock so much that he named all the characters and the settings and stuff off of rock music. Yeah, but. Uh, when I w remember seeing the OVA and they had all these characters with rock names, but then they had just some of the blandest music that was there. I, I kind of felt like, mm, this, this kind of feels like a lost opportunity, but I guess it's after this, once they got money, they got licensing money. Oh no, they absolutely <laughs> definitely, of course were, they did. given, given everything. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, Oh, people really like this. Here's more money. Which is weird, because I feel like, you know, with, with, like, the manga's been around for so long, you know, I feel like they would have gotten, like, oh, yeah, no, this is definitely, you guys, this is going to be with our moneymaker. Here, have all the budget, you know? No. Uh, so, but, you know, I Golden think, Wind. Oh, go I ahead. Th no, I was going to say, I think because anime is now, like, exploded in popularity, that's probably why they're doing it. Yeah, like within yeah. the past, I would say ten years. Before it was more of a niche thing. Yeah, it was a niche and a kind of like a. Uh, I, I I don't know. For me, it felt like a little bit of like a social stigma, almost in a way. It was like, ew, you watch anime. Oh well, you know? yeah. Was, I mean, they even had the social stigma that was called the otaku. 
Yeah. And now people are owning up to it the same way people are owning up to geek culture. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a subculture that was frowned upon, but, you know, well known. And then it just now with everything being what it is, it's like, oh, it's on the open. So obviously here's more money. Yes. And yes, social media has got that. So everybody's talking about it. But the one thing that has propelled like this up to the stars is the memes. The memes. (laughs) The memes. Absolutely. The memes. Uh, I I know whenever I got my my Kraken uh, for my computer and it plays gifts for no reason no whatever whatsoever yeah. just because no, there's it can. no reason whatsoever <laughs> <laughs> but but uh one of the first gifts i downloaded was uh was the li- 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 <laughs> 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 just, just because... assaulting that cherry, <laughs> cherry. <Yeah. laughs> uh, uh. i had to have it and i immediately regretted it because that's like i gotta look at this all day as i as i have this computer turned on uh, <laughs> wait so, like that wasn't turned the, on or i was about to say, <laughs> <laughs> that was the only thing that was turned on no kidding <laughs> yeah. um i will say this though like i don't know why with each season the the main characters just are getting progressively smaller yes no that is a huge thing like because uh uh, you know, my, our roommate uh, here at the house, you know, he was he, he's been watching Jojo with us and big fan of the big burly men. Mm-hmm. Big fan. <laughs> um, but <laughs> as <laughs> but as it continues on, you start to see it get real, real thin, real lean, uh, a lot of the characters. And so uh, I, I when 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 Jolene Cujo ro- runs around, I hate to see what he says because <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I I want to talk to you about, Ed. Like I, you're you're all like, man, I only got this much left of Golden Wind, right? Yeah, yeah. Guess what, buddy? You got another Cujo coming around the corner. I, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> but okay, but but again, but again, but again. Uh, if as long as they're a JoJo, I'm more interested than fucking Joe's gay. Uh, so they are. It's a Jolene Cujo. Which, it's a Jojo. Eh. <laughs> so, you don't like, uh, jo, Jotar, jo, Josuke. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Josuke. He's a, and you don't he's like Giorno? Oh, yeah, uh, how do you I, feel about Giorno? And, the, and that's not even really a Jojo there. I mean, they're, 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 they're trying. Mm-hmm. Again, this is J- Japanese imagining what Italians look and sound like. <laughs> so, Gio, Gio, I'll give it to them. Uh, uh, that, that gets a buy. That, wait, that, wait, wait, wait. Because they tried with him. Fucking Higashikita? No, they didn't yeah. try. They didn't even try with him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how, how, did, how did you... Wait, how far are you into Golden Wind anyways? Because uh, uh, like there's I said, something I'm only about... Like, about Geo Geo that I don't I feel like you don't know it. I'm only five episodes in right now. Five episodes in. Got it. Oh, okay. Yeah. If it's if it's who the father is, then right now all I know is what they've explained. Oh, okay. So you do know who the father is. Yes. Someone's head and someone else's body. Kono <laughs> Gardia <laughs> I haven't seen Golden One. Really? You're fine. You're fine. It's like the first episode. <laughs> yeah, they, they literally explain it in the, like, the first episode. Oh, okay. So I don't have to watch the first episode. Thanks, guys. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, you should, because it introduces who Geo is. Yeah. What right. kind of person. His personality, because his personality is drastically different from Josuke. Yeah, for the better. Yes, <laughs> it, 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 it's like someone realized they're like, "All right, we get it. <laughs> you like Jotaro, but we can't do that again." <laughs> but what we can do again is fucking stupid hair. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Yeah, like, well, it, somebody's got a womp with the pomp. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as as much as I appreciate the pomp, it, it's the bit of what did you just say about my hair? That kind of goes away. <laughs> I'm glad it did because it yeah. was just it was dumb. It was. <laughs> well, you got to remember when this stuff was made. Like he came out in the '80s when 
dudes were really preoccupied with their hair. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Uncle Jesse comes to mind. Yeah. I, I'm also kind of like, because I forget and uh, you know, if anybody's in the chat, uh, let me, you know, correct me, please. I, I feel like Jolene was either the nineties or the two thousands. So that's what we got look to look forward to. Uh, uh with, yeah, with I want to say it came Ocean. out late nineties. No, 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 no. Like her, it, it, cause everyone kind of represents a certain point in time, mm-hmm. you know, uh, and I think Jolene is supposed to be more recent, the new one. So that'll be interesting how that plays out. Because I don't know, I I I I, I liked the setting for uh, Joseph. You know, like the time frame that it was in the twenties. The twenties, yeah. It felt right. Thirties, yeah. Twenties, thirties, somewhere on there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so. Okay. So. Yeah, I I like. Okay, so so I'm watching the dub, and I'm like, why did he stop speaking with an English accent? <laughs> that was what was be my next thing was gonna be. Uh, how how do you like the pompous, <laughs> uh, you know, Joseph Joe Star just going straight? <laughs> oh, I loved it. <laughs> like I I loved it. Like it's like the just him being a him being like a great tactical dumbass. Yeah. Was it would work perfectly? Like his best move is running away, uh, and, mean, it, and it carries on to start retreat. a retreat. <laughs> yeah, and uh, then the whole thing of like him predicting what you're gonna say. I was like, oh, this motherfucker playing mind games. Yeah. All right, <laughs> I like that. And then it's like, here's and then here's Jotaro, fucking just hard exterior. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, and and hard punches, <laughs> very hard punches that are quick. <laughs> I, I I love I, I forget what episode it was, but when uh it's one of the guys that's about to get beat up, he's like, "You're gonna ura 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 mean, are you?" So uh uh so with 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 bizarre adventures. So from what I'm getting is you're going to put Jotaro up as one of the more favorable of the Joe Star line. Yeah. Okay. Write it down. Yeah. Uh, uh, and it does not sound like Josuke is very high on that list, so we're just going to throw him at the bottom. Yeah, so right now he's at the bottom, unless unless uh, Italian boy can do something to make me hate him more. <laughs> so so uh, I'm going to just going to kind of guess here. Is it is it Jotaro... Joseph, Jonathan, uh, uh, Giorno, and and then Josuke. Is that how it kind of plays out for you? Like that top is, best bottom line. That is exactly how you Ooh, how it would be. Ooh man, look at me, man, <laughs> king of anime. <laughs> I mean, you should have said like the next thing you're going to say is. <laughs> <laughs> I really should have. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, so so bizarre adventure for me was always one that I was kind of like. I want to watch this. I want to see it. I don't know where to start. You know, uh, and and now I look at it and like it makes a lot of sense to me on like the Fate series. Uh, that's another podcast. <laughs> um, yeah. So, interestingly enough, after you guys are like, oh, you're going to try to make sense of JoJo and then Fate. And I'm like, I-, I might give Fate a try. Ed, don't do it. <laughs> Oh, come on, man. We all know me. I'm the green one. I don't know anything. <laughs> and I like to finish this stuff. And, and you're not going to finish Fate, though. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> Fate Ooh. is still going. <laughs> nah. It's it continuing. Nah. It ain't. It ain't, it ain't. Well, there's I mean, no but there's end like, in sight. <laughs> there's like nine series of it, are there? Uh, well, Way too depends. many branching timelines. Yeah, it depends on what timeline you're going to follow. Um, do you want to watch it uh, to where um, they're fighting f- over the Holy Grail, they all hate each other, and then in the next one, they all cook for each other? <laughs> do you want to see that one? <laughs> yeah, or the one that they that start canon. a variety television show. <laughs> uh, 
So, <clears throat> or the timeline that Link loses to Ganon, or the timeline <laughs> that Shadow realizes he's an android. <laughs> so I actually all part of fate. <laughs> I actually looked. I actually looked into fate uh, after after we talked last time, and fate and, looked back. <laughs> and there is like yeah, there's like a bunch of freaking websites giving you like a canonical sort of order. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, uh that is a huge thing. Like everybody has like their own ver- way of like how fate is supposed to run. Yeah, yeah and they and were the, all different, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, and the thing is like I I I there seem to be like a bunch of them that actually do line up. So for the most part, a lot of people do agree on one sort of order, but those stupid ones where they're like cooking for each other, I'm just going to skip those cuz no. <laughs> but that's or part of the story. No. Yeah. Just no. <laughs> so, I, 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 those who are with us on Twitch right now, uh, once again, it's Twitch TV dot uh twitch.tv slash random media man i know how what the website link is mm-hmm. uh so right now uh we're big fans of giguk here at the show uh i have his 31 minute of him badly explaining the fate franchise the no, fate no. series okay you can say he's badly explaining it but he's doing his best (laughs) and that's all you can ask for anybody that's a a fan of fate (laughs) all right but but i mean i mean come on guys i put myself through evangelion i mean we kind of established that there's not really much i won't put myself through we did you did and we we told you to drop it we we said and you you just didn't listen (laughs) I'm, i'm not nick i just can't let it die beautiful i have to know it is fucking awful <laughs> uh i am never going to recommend darling in the Bronx for it to you uh that has to die beautiful yeah you but have to he has to get up point. to a point to where it can yeah. die beautiful and then exactly. he just needs to, to just let it go <laughs> but i can't oh, man. let shit go like that i have to see it through brother i need to <laughs> just let it all water off a of frog's back man just just let let it go Mm. Let's see. Where's the? He has the thing for the fates in night. Uh, I like that. Oh, there the it is. The timeline. It is the, right the, over here. The fates yeah. stay night. Fates stay night. So it's yeah. after the fifth holy. Gra- uh, it's the fifth holy grail war, and then that, that can lead into unlimited blade works, heavens feel uh, route, or just regular fate stay night. <laughs> yeah, because they're all canon. Yeah, because not kidding. really. <laughs> yeah. It's because such a headache. One of them does continue on. Actually, no, two of them do, do continue on, but the second one is like a dream. <laughs> <laughs> but that dream is picked up in a different timeline. Yeah, I'm no, for, not bullshitting you. <laughs> no, from, from what I understand, Fate Stay Night leads into fate stay night unlimited blade works the movie or short series then fate stay night unlimited blade works the actual series is a different timeline that has nothing to do with fate stay night but continuity wise ties in with fate zero which everyone says you should watch afterwards not before even though it takes place before Ooh. And then Fate Stay Night Heaven's Feel is somewhere after everything. All right. So it's one of those things where, yes, it takes place before, but you have to watch it after because they reference things that happened afterwards that were shown before. So you won't understand because they won't come back to it until they do. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> right, but seeing as how I don't know, I haven't seen any of these. I'm pretty sure I could start with the prequel and just work my way up. You know what? You know what? I, I'm actually I'm gonna sign off on this. He, it sounds like he's doing his homework. It sounds like oh, he's looking at it. Fuck! I've never done so much homework. And and uh, here's my thing: we know Ed, uh, you and me and Nick. We know Ed, and I, and, I, and I think I've known Ed. Yes, he has a yeah, very yeah. big problem when he watches a movie. Or a series that if it starts at the end, you know, mm. it's not it's not good good he's not gonna have a good time. No, 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 no. It starts at the middle. 
starts at the yeah, middle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's it's not really a matter of if it starts at the end because I can uh, I can deal with an entire movie that is a flashback. Okay. Because it's like, oh, this is where we wind up, and then you know, like like uh, like Deadpool, he fucking starts getting exploded and works his way to to it, and then the movie finishes. <laughs> I didn't I didn't mind that. It's just when you start jumping around too much, that is when it, it becomes a problem. May I ask you a question, Ed? Sure. I, I, I've actually thought about this, and I don't think I've ever asked you. What mm. did you think of the Witcher series on Netflix? I, oh. I enjoyed it. Huh. Mm. I watched it, like, twice. But! Huh. <laughs> but that's mm-hmm. not the same thing, because it's two concurrent timelines. No. Yes. It, yeah, no, that's the whole thing. It, it's it's well, two different it's timelines two that kind of sync up. It's two timelines, one leading into the other. Yes, but then that's still it's still a linear timeline broken into two segments and they're <coughs> shown like flip flopping side by side. So wouldn't that be the same thing? It would be if I had known that. But when you're when you first watch The Witcher, you don't know what's happening until oh. the very end. Oh, I get it. You were already enjoying it by the time that they pulled that cord, and you're like, "Crap!" <laughs> oh, Pretty so much, I was like, If yeah. a certain director is attached to it, you're already going in with the stigma of, no, "Okay, I know what this fine. is going to be." Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but like this one, it was like, okay, this is what's happening with this character, this is what's happening with this character, and this is what's happening with this character. You didn't know there were different uh, time, you know, it was a different time uh, until the very end when they finally fucking meet up. Mm, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up what you're throwing down. I got well, you. Well yeah. then. Okay, so... So I, I, I you should think probably be... drop the face series right now, bro. I'm just telling <laughs> no, you, don't do I, it. I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it the old college try. Oh no, nah, man, no, nah, uh, dude. People drop out of college and they live happier lives, bro. I'm just telling you, bro. Kanye West, right there. <laughs> I mean, Bill Gates. <laughs> I mean, uh, Kanye. So, is, that's your go-to. So where would uh, I think you said where you're going to start, but uh, I'm going to ask again, where are you going to start with fate? Uh, zero. Zero. Got it. <laughs> well, that's zero. a logical idea of where to start. <laughs> that, that's on me. <laughs> I set the bar way too low. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Um, so, so I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say about Fate because I, I, I have tried to watch a lot of the Fate series. Um, uh, uh, Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blay Works uh, was one I watched pretty recently, and mm-hmm. I was like, "This is really cool!" And it's UFO table. Those are the same guys that did Demon Slayer, you know. And so I'm thinking a lot of the animation is going to be great, and it was. Yeah. Yeah. And it gets to a point where I'm just like, I'm so just doing this to get this over with. Because <laughs> mm. I'm just so just done. <laughs> like a woman so. giving head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'd yeah. say more of a hand job. <laughs> uh, true. Yeah, true. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because I was, I was thinking like, because I was like the next long one that I was going to do was going to be the uh, uh, like the Steinsgate series. Ooh. Oh, I uh, I like Steins Gate. Like, other than the movie Primer, that's one of the closest renditions of what actual time travel is going to be. Okay, I, I will say this: if you get into Steins Gate, you, I, I, I am going to have to catch up with you. I feel like because I feel like that would be, that would surpass my power level of <laughs> anime. Okay. Uh, well, well, here, here's my here's my question. Like, Nick, you've seen you've seen Steins Gate, Nick? I've seen the first. Uh, season of Stein, or I've seen the first uh, show. I haven't seen any of the uh, the later ones. Okay, so you haven't seen like the other offshoots that like deal in that universe. Then 
No, I have not. Like it's, Chaos Head and Chaos Child. Uh, Chaos Head, I actually saw, I want to say the first three episodes many years ago. Mm-hmm. But uh, I dropped it for whatever reason. And I, it's one of my needs to pick up, pick back up. Okay. It's just that I haven't thought about it since you literally just mentioned it for a while. <laughs> oh, okay. So, whoop, to anime list I go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so I was going to do, like, all of those series, is not just Steins Gate. Yeah. But then... Then you motherfuckers said fate, and I was like, "Let me, let me do oh, this a well, world." No, no. I mean, we said fate, but then again, we are motherfuckers, so you can. Yeah. You don't have to watch. No, nope. <laughs> no. Nope. I'm going off your recommendation now. That, so. that, we well. didn't recommend it. <laughs> hey, you said you said you're doing JoJo. Like, get ready for fate, and I was like, "Oh fuck, now I gotta do fate." Okay, well, shit, man. So much well, for if, you're, if you're doing Damn fate, it, get ready for a certain whatever. Scientific railgun, yeah. <laughs> certain scientific railgun, you got a certain scientific accelerator or whatever. Mm. <laughs> uh, a, a certain, what's the magic one? Damn it. This is going to kill me. A certain magical index. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have, have fun with those. <laughs> okay, so, so basically you're saying I should have Berserk as a buffer between the two. You probably should have Bro. a as a okay. buffer. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro. Bro. If you're going to watch Berserk, yeah. that's a show you have to let die pretty. Because <laughs> it which, will go into the age of CGI. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. And cool. that's it what I was don't look to. good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Once, once the CGI rolls around, you just have to let it go. Mm. Just don't even bother. <laughs> like you mm. can do, you can do the original show that came <clears throat> out like in the nineties. Yeah, you can watch the three. I recommend watching the three movies that's on Netflix. Yeah, uh, that looks really good. And then you just gotta let it die, man. Mm. But I like hyper violence. Yeah. Uh, you can like it all you want, <laughs> but at a certain point. It just doesn't seem right. <laughs> uh-huh. Now, is it just because of uh, an aesthetics thing? Mm, it's you know an aesthetics thing, but it's also, it's very jarring, and the fights look much worse than if they were hand-drawn. Uh, when they're hand-drawn, things are meticulous, but when it's done in CGI, most of the time, they leave all the movements to a fucking algorithm. I'm putting it uh, on the live stream right now. If you can kind of see, this is actual animation from the actual CGI Berserk, and uh, yeah, <laughs> like I think Genshin Impact looks better than this. <laughs> oh, this shit looks like uh, uh, Cyborg Zero Zero Nine. Yeah, God. and the animation on like because yeah, the one on Netflix, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. But then they had one that came out back in the early 2000s that was good, and that was hand drawn. Yeah. I don't know. Dude. This isn't just me being a fucking anime boomer. <laughs> I, I for me though, like I, I'll I'll play on the on that though. The CGI revolution on some of these things it takes me out immediately. Um, like uh, there was that 86 anime last season. Yeah, I was kind of I was kind of interested in it, and then I saw that there's so much CGI in between parts, and it's just like, see, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't mind it when they use CGI on uh, robots and vehicles because those are stationary things that you know they move like with the camera and stuff. So it's what when the shows are more static, that's you know a given for it being mechanical. Uh, the exception is if you ever go back to look at the original initial, dr- initial D's. <laughs> oh yeah. Those yeah. cars are rough. <laughs> <laughs> initial D's. <nuts. laughs> yeah. Yeah. The cars do look very rough and it's supposed to look really cool, especially when they hit those, cu- those curves. Well, yeah. When they start at, drifting at the time when it came out height of, uh, like anime CGI. Yeah. But. 
yeah, going back, it looks rough. Uh, there was one, well, it was last season, I believe it was, um, X-Arm. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> X Arm. Yeah, the that's cyberpunk the show? one, right? <laughs> yeah, that one. Ooh, like they uh, back in the day when um, uh, before he was hired by Rooster Teeth, uh, Monty Ohm, R.I.P. He created like uh, the Haloid uh, videos where it had Halo, uh, it had uh, Master Chief and Samus like fighting the covenant and them doing a bunch of flip de doo things and shooting. And it was just super sick, crazy, basically uh, like harkens back to how devil may cry fights or Dante fights from devil may cry series. Mm -hmm. But um, it, it looks super, super slick, like at the time. But if you go back and watch it, you're like, man, this is really static, static and things have looked much better. Like fan animations have uh, gotten up to a higher degree, so I I just think that some things uh, with anime they're kind of holding self back. I mean, uh, it seems more like they're just trying to take uh, take advantage of the technology that because in in actuality, uh, it, it is. I think it is cheaper now to actually just do CG animation than it is to do hand drawn. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, uh, because like like the other thing, the one that just came to mind after seeing that that clip of the animation, I was like, <laughs> that that looks like, and you mentioned Rooster Teeth, that looks like that fucking uh, Rooster Teeth show with Max Genlock. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it, I can see how it's jarring, and but you're right, it, it's jarring when it comes to uh, like human characters yeah seeing like uh actual creatures and people uh in cgi when yeah it just looks very stilted but, yeah but when they do the robot scenes yeah they look amazing it just, yeah or, it or amazing even just or it looks you know good yeah or 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 you know the, the cgi should be reserved for mechs and vehicles and whatnot or even uh, uh backgrounds and I guess scenic areas. Yeah. Because uh, you know, uh, what's the one? Uh high rise invasion? Ah, yes. Like the buildings in that, they look great. And I mean that's that is pretty much CGI. Like it I, I'm pretty sure it's not hand drawn just because of how it moves when it's when the characters are moving with it. So all right, so I wanna say it's kinda like it's kind of like if you leave nature, which is a human, to draw nature, which is draw another human or draw like a forest or a landscape with foliage and stuff like that. Yeah. It looks good. But then when and when you use technology to uh, animate technology, it looks good. But then when you when you cross them, something goes wrong. Like, yeah, but thing, the only thing is it, it goes wrong one way because like people drawing, <laughs> uh, buildings or vehicles or robots that looks fine. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's the human characters in the first Toy Story versus the human characters in Toy Story 4. Oh, oh yeah. I like that. <laughs> Sorry. I just got hot back in. I just, oh, no, Lily no, yeah. hasn't gone back to sleep. So <laughs> that just give it an issue. Trip. Mm -hmm. uh benadryl a little whiskey will do you a little, a little whiskey on the gums right yeah yeah, yeah no <laughs> i got that blandings don't i <laughs> <laughs> there you go yeah give her the good stuff <laughs> let her grow up pampered <laughs> but 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 i mean like again i i think we all like castlevania and that had a lot of but that was mostly in the background again it was in the background yeah yeah, yeah. and i didn't mind the, that it's in the foreground, like, this yeah, is your focus. When, when yeah. things are, you know, up to scrutiny because, yeah, people have shown, oh, yeah, there's CGI in the background. And then when they zoom into a background character, then they're like, ew, look how gross this is. Like, yeah, you aren't meant to be zooming into it. I get that. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Well, well, I'll let you know what I do with uh, Berserk, oh, what my choice man. will be. 
Okay. Well, well. On that note, uh, I think we can move into the next stuff we we're going to talk about. Um, so uh, let's just briefly go over some of the past, like la- the past season. I want to talk a little bit more about this season because I know we talked about last season in our last episode, but it feels like forever ago. So we'll feels get like into it was last season. Mm. It was last season. <laughs> so um, there was a few things that I watched. Uh, in particular that that you know caught my eye i know i'm going to talk about uh zombie land saga just for this p- moment uh because i know y'all aren't gonna deal with it but it is good the music's great end of story um so snow white notes that was another great one that i really enjoyed i didn't finish it though i know i know me and nick were kind of talking about it um uh i actually did finish it and it ended okay. Ends okay. Okay. All right. So it's it's acceptable, I guess. What I want to say. It's a, it ends in on the like. Okay, I feel like that's a good way to end the whole thing, right? Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Okay. That's good. Um, uh, I just saw. I have my Netflix playing like on that little screensaver thing that it's supposed to be doing on my TV, and I just saw that Shaman King is gonna be available for. Uh, us american viewers uh august uh, 8th so i think in a week so that that remake re re whatever it is uh that'll yeah, be coming a, out it's a remake i guess re- that... reboot it was a word i was looking for oh but yeah okay, okay I, yeah i was, I was, I was gonna like, say i'm like wasn't that shit on like w kids wb yeah yeah so that's what i was gonna say because like i've heard both i've heard it was a remake i've heard it's a reboot you know uh, so that'll be available for everybody to kind of see. So I guess technically this season, um, uh, the, the combatants uh, will be dispatched. Uh, that one was uh, the Konosuba guy. Yes, I so recall. Good. And I, I I I watched a few of those and I enjoyed it. I just haven't really gotten into it. I, but I'd say I think my overall pick is going to be the Don't Tease Me Nagatoro son. <laughs> Really? Uh, and I and I and, and, and I and I know what that what that can mm-hmm. say about a person. <laughs> I've seen 4chan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've seen how ridiculous it got. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I liked the story for what it was. Uh, it was uh, uh, a a really just just uh, shy. I guess the best way, easiest way I could say it. A guy and a very outgoing girl, uh, just kind of bettering each other, you know. Uh, yes, of course it's etchy, and yes, of course it's <laughs> like uh, I'm pretty sure Netflix has this as a live action show. If it's like ooh. called Sub, what? Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> I think no, 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 no. <laughs> They definitely don't got this one. <laughs> uh, I mean, oh, okay. That's where you go. I thought you were like, yeah, this is a live action show. It's called Cuties. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> what? Uh, no. I, you, you, no. You, 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 yeah. No, not, yeah. no, not that. <laughs> uh, no, this no one, because of how, this was... because how you interpreted it, you know, shy guy and outgoing girl and, and fuck you both. <laughs> they both what? What's that last no, part? I said, fuck, fuck, I said, fuck you both. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. It, 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 so it's a sadistic girl. A super sadistic girl is the way they introduced her in the anime. <laughs> and the art, the otaku, otaku in the art club. So uh, that's what the, the trailer kind of introduces these characters as. But uh, there, it, it was entertaining. It, it had its moments. It's where, yeah, it's a bit much, but it's like the first episode where she's just destroying like really him. <laughs> yeah, like emotionally scarring <laughs> the way like, she's she's putting him down. <laughs> like I I was uh at the end of watching that first episode, I was about to immediately drop it, but then I just had like some change of heart like let me just watch the second episode, I guess, just to say like maybe it's going to change but i doubt it but it did it, it got does and it much better it changes so much uh by the end of the episode uh the end of the series uh you know uh, 
you can kind of see how they better each other in a way. You know, she makes him a lot more brave and a lot more able to speak up for himself. And uh, she understands that she kind of sucks <laughs> mm-hmm. at times. So, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's good. It's, it's, it was, it's heartfelt. <laughs> uh, Not the only thing that's felt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, watch the show. <laughs> uh, yes, you should. <laughs> uh, Nick, any anything that stood out for you last season? Uh, last season, there were a couple that stood out that I didn't think were going to be as good as they were. Like Odd Taxi. Odd that, Taxi. You so you saw all of it? I saw most of it. Um, okay. There are two episodes I still haven't seen, and not because I'm letting it die beautiful. It's just I. I don't know. Something in me just says I need to watch this in the right state of mind. So I think I'm going to have to have some brandy while I'm watching it. Because it is kind of a, like a, a, a somber anime, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, it, it is uh, more, even though it's animals, like protagonists and everything, um, it is more down to earth. Uh, just think of it like watching the movie Crash. Yeah. But with animals, <laughs> <laughs> um, and it, it's actually fairly it's fairly entertaining. Um, it's got it's got some yucks in it. It's, it's got some down moments, but for overall, it's not like too much of a downer. And it's also a decent crime story. Like it's one of those, yeah. You have all your characters, but then you have the biggest character of all. The city. The city. Shut up. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't realize that there was like a, cr- a crime mystery uh, attached to all of it. As I, I was one I, I, I did not uh, start up. And I was every once in a while I see it and I'm like, I should just give it the shot, you know? Yeah. Uh, um, because you can say, uh, mm, if I'm remembering the movie correctly, uh, you can say like the, the initial crime is a missing girl. But then, like, uh, like she's gone missing, er, like she's on the news, everybody's looking at her, the cops are asking questions, like, have you seen this person? But then everybody that they're in, they introduce seems to have some connection with either the missing girl or what happened to her. Ah, uh, okay. And it's, it, it's one of those things where every episode you start piecing things together. Uh, who's who's in dirty with whom and things like that. So that's actually like if they did the entire show with just human characters, it would pretty much be the same. Uh, the only thing, the only difference is that half the time that they they say something, they're adding in an animal pun. <laughs> <laughs> so so like in Full Metal Brother, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Where it's like my animal instincts are kicking in. <laughs> yeah, kind of, pretty much like that. <laughs> I hated that part about it. <laughs> it was so annoying. It's like I get it. You guys can turn into animals. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, it's fa- it's fairly much like uh, a Japanese y- y- uh, adult Zootopia. Well, no, I thought that was B stars. <laughs> no, no, no. See, that's young adult B- uh, oh. <laughs> Zootopia. But then you have adult Zootopia. But then this... I know what you're thinking. It's not adult Zootopia oh, because oh, that's okay. uh, relegated to another part of the internet that we won't touch on in this episode. <laughs> so, so B stars. So, <laughs> so B stars is like uh, when life is still young and fun. Uh, <laughs> it's like your twenties and and and. Uh, Odd taxis like your mid thirties got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of like that. Except in B stars, fucking animals are actually eating each other. While this oh, one, shit. no, they just shoot them. <laughs> I didn't know they were actually doing that in B stars. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, that's why B stars is closer to Zootopia than this is. I'm just <laughs> gotcha. because everyone's an animal living in the city, living in the city. Then that's <laughs> that's why I just. Uh, relegated to that. Gotcha, gotcha. Anything else that you think uh, anybody that's listening should should check out? Uh, check out for last season's animes, uh, Vivi, uh, Fluorite 
I song. I, I'm so glad that you you brought that up because yeah, I that it what was one that I watched a few of them on and like Oh boy. <laughs> and the great thing about that is that it is an anime original. So anybody, you know, who the, the manga was better than uh they can go get fucked because this <laughs> came out as an anime uh original story. So uh watching it, you will get the full the 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 full experience of it. Uh there's no uh Un, untold story or different plot lines that aren't said in the anime yeah. um and that's that's one of the things i like about uh original things is nothing's left out what let they me, wanted to put in there they put in there let me ask you shoot so you won't watch zombie land saga but you'll watch this idol anime what the hell whoa whoa hold <laughs> up so here's the thing I saw the first episode of this thinking uh-huh. it was going to be an idol anime. Yeah. Because I like if it show up on my Crunchyroll, as long as it's not overtly like a magical girl or it just says idol in the damn name, yeah. then I'll give it a shot. But yeah. uh and it starts off uh you're gonna think, yeah, it's it's just about a a robot idol like what's so what's so great about this and then it does that thing like halfway through the episode it just starts hitting a beat and hitting another beat and just one right after the other and by the end of the episode you're like well i gotta see what happens next and so uh, this is one that that like i i I started and like i I put in the back and i keep going man i gotta get back into this i gotta start watching this one again because like just from the very beginning of the anime, you know that it's something different. Mm-hmm. Uh, because, like, yeah, you go in in this idol anime, and then, like, just from the situation that it starts off in, um, I mean, I don't really want to say what's happening, but it's, like, some real serious crap. Uh, you know, and, like, from the actual style that they, they drew it in, like, it, it's... Uh, it's definitely something special. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So uh, I don't know if, if you're following any of it, Ed, because I know like a part of me. Whenever we do this, it feels like I got to sell mm-hmm. it to you a little bit. <laughs> no, I mean, I just I just saw that. Uh, you know, I saw the video. And yeah, that looks interesting. It, it, so yeah, because I know like you, you're you're specifically one that like you know, of course, if you, it's got some good violence in it, sign you up, kind of thing, right? And oh, I know, yeah. I know. Uh, Jim Tendo eighty six. Uh, you know he's on vacation at the moment, but uh, I, I I know he is one who loves older animes, and he kind of gets upset about the way anime is right now with the violence and uh, yeah. everything looks plastic. He's looking for some hyper violence, um, especially when they go real in depth with things splattering about. This is mm. it. This definitely would be that. <laughs> mm. You know, so uh, uh, I, I and I did I, have one more anime for is last it, season. Is it is it the final season of Fruits Basket? Because man, let's get into that. How about no? <laughs> okay, what you but, got, man? <laughs> but it is an anime that started last season, and it's well, actually no, it started two seasons ago, mm-hmm. and it but it continued. Uh, last season and is continuing this season with the second season. Okay, technically, <laughs> like um, but welcome to Demon School Irumaku. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, what a good show! I mean, I... it's it's just got everything you you want except you know it's not hyper violent <laughs> it's not hyper violent yeah no it's definitely not that but it is very enjoyable it is an enjoyable show i am starting to see that uh one it's Oop. like a, <laughs> it's an isekai it, to, it, to the demon War. it's an isekai it's an isekai yeah yeah that's fair but uh what i do not like is that they are. I just watched the latest episode that came out, and it's. It seems every anime uh, that I've seen in the last week, 
the episode had had at least a three minute, which feels like forever, uh, a three minute stint where somebody has to do like an idol song. <laughs> hey, and they did that in the first season of I- Ira Makun, though. No, they, they did. And I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it just seems like what I don't like is starting to become what's popular. What's popular. I, I, I think that I need to hate the stocks. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe it's because I started liking GameStop uh, <laughs> that they they started plummeting. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So I'm sorry, day traders, but I am the problem. Uh, <laughs> but I'll uh, start hating everything that you do from here on out. Nick, why so, is it why is it that like when you start liking something or start hating something, bad shit happens to it? I just I need to stop feeling. That's the problem. Yeah, <laughs> I just need to to coast through life and accepting everything as it is, and giving a a bland answer as to what I think of it. Yeah, because um, so like you know what comes to mind. I do, I do. Yeah, and oh, uh, let's just say this is like something for another episode of another podcast, but. I apologize to the music world. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I don't know what that one is. So, oh, yes, wow. you do. Yes, you do. Uh, oh, yes, I do. Oh, <laughs> damn it, Nick. <laughs> oh, man. Well, well so let me... Let, so for uh, those God, who don't know, Ed why is, included... Why isn't that an anime? <laughs> Ouch. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, so for those who don't know, uh, Irumakun is a kid that was sold off by his parents to a demon lord. Uh, and the demon lord not, takes not, him... Not, 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 not the demon lord. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. the chairperson of uh, Demon of Academy. Demon Academy, yes, yes. So so, so uh, he, he uh, basically adopts uh, Irumakun and has him go into a demon school. Uh knowing that it's full of demons and that he's a regular ass human uh, and the school uh even like their song is like humans are only meant to be food and uh we eat them and you no know, shit like that you know yes. <laughs> like the strange thing like as as you watch this show and it's not a spoiler but it's no one there has actually interacted with humans yeah so uh humans are seen more like how we see demons where they're more myth but people believe that they exist and you have to have a certain stigma to them which is you know you're supposed to hate demons because they cause bad you're supposed to hate <laughs> humans because they uh <laughs> It's the fucking robot homeworld from Futurama. It, it is basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and and so uh Irumakun's cardboard costume to make him a robot is basically a a oh. ring that his grandfather gave him. That's like, yeah, it's got powers. Just use yeah. it. <laughs> he can't use magic, but he's got a he's got a ring that makes everyone think he can use magic. It's but, it's pretty great. Yeah, if if you're looking for a good funny anime, uh, that's a really good one. I will say, I like jokes. <laughs> shut up. <Ed. laughs> first one, uh, the first season, so good to a point, in my opinion. You know, uh, I, I I like anything before we get to Pop Idol. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I I. I sign off on that now i I don't want to say i'd sign off for you dropping it once you see like the pop idol because that's i'd say that's like the filler anime to this filler anime of a show it really is and and it's funny too because it's like once you get there there's not that many episodes left of that season you know so (laughs) i feel like if they ordered it differently maybe it would have been like not as jarring of a of a abrupt stop, but mm. you know, I don't know. Uh, so okay, that was last season. Let's talk this season now, though. Right? There are some important things I want to talk about in this season. That's fucking uh, hot. 
<laughs> it is hot. Oh, it's hot girl summer. And you don't even know how hot it is right now. How Let me tell you. hot Let is it? <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, one of my personal favorites right now. And again, I know what everyone's going to think. But this one is really, really, really funny. It is... I, I love that you include me in that. Like, I know what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, you know what's going to happen. Oh, it's going to happen. It's called Kanojo Mo Kanojo, or Girlfriend Girlfriend. Isn't, <laughs> isn't that the one that Todd... Nope, always... nope, nope, nope. You're thinking of Kanojo X Kanojo X Kanojo, and a yeah. <laughs> uh, totally different thing. Just, mm -hmm. just if you're going to Google uh, Kanojo, Google Kanojo Mo Kanojo, and you'll be safe for work, sort of. Um, yeah. <laughs> but remember, uh, it's um, Japanese, so Mo is translated by X. Yes, yes, exactly. So, uh, so basically, the premise of this is uh, a boy uh, that grew up next to uh, a, a girl. Uh, that the two of them start a romantic relationship in at, at school and it's a big deal um however another girl comes into play and confesses her love to him and the only thing that the boy can think of doing is, is asking the first girl if it's okay if he dates both of them <laughs> <laughs> and hilarity ensues. <laughs> yeah, run from there, <laughs> basically. Uh, it, 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 it's the premise is bad. I'll, I'll say that. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it's trash. however, however, oh, it's some some neat trash, bro. <laughs> however, however, uh, in in a world where the the most animes are, oh my. God, I touched your hand. <laughs> oh, does that mean we're going steady? You know, and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It is a little refreshing to see like them just go, nah, we're just gonna go, you know, straight for it, man. <laughs> you know, I'm going to allude to like all kinds of things. Uh, you know, all kinds of adult situations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're high schoolers, so it is a little weird, but it's like it, it, it just it feels different you know I, I think it's why like i like when i see a, a rom-com anime uh i like it when it's grown-ups yeah you know i mean you know. yeah this show i will say imagine it like if degrassi was funny <laughs> so degrassi or, wasn't funny Degrassi was not funny. <laughs> what the fuck was it i thought it was a comedy no it was like a, a little teen drama oh yeah oh okay yeah, even even the, even having Kevin Smith and and Jason Mewes on it, it's still a little teen drama. Sorry. Oh, I mean, I've I've never seen an episode of it, so I, I don't know. I just I just thought it was like Canada well, Saved by the Bell. You don't want to watch the Degrassi because the timeline on it is really out there. Oh my god! Get it. <laughs> it goes everywhere. <laughs> Okay. You have old Degrassi, then you have Degrassi: The Next Generation, but then you have <laughs> the spinoff, which is <laughs> see that again. That's why I thought it was like Canada Saved by the Bell. No, Saved by the Bell was funny. Yeah, th no, that that like I thought that's what they were trying to copy because you know Canada. Well, well yeah. Uh, every hat wants to be the head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there's another anime that I I, I started watching and like. I haven't talked to you about it, uh, Nick, because I wanted to save it for this particular moment, and I hope you got to it. Because uh, I don't know what it is about this season. This season's releases are very odd. They were like, uh, this this one is going to start, you know, when everything else ends, and this one is like three weeks later. I'm going to start, you know, yeah. just just yeah it's like they're really staggering it but i'm gonna guess that's because this is also the catch-up from mm -hmm. uh er, like all the corona that's delays. So? yeah yeah and that, that makes a lot of sense what did you say Ed? <laughs> yeah that's what the fuck did you just say that's up <laughs> oh my god <laughs> he said ketchup yeah. um Nobody said well ketchup. He, he didn't. Yeah. So uh, I I started watching the uh, Idaten uh, di deities. Uh, ah, you did. Okay. I, okay. Yeah. And and oh my gosh! Like it's it's from Mappa again. Zombieland Saga people, right? 
they've done a lot they're like on a roll right now in my book um but the animation in this is so unique and so cool in my opinion uh i like that all the characters have like a purple outline mm-hmm. i don't know why that like set really really kind of makes the, the the colors pop for me uh you know i mean it's uh, purple andrew we know why I, yeah <laughs> it's so regal <laughs> but uh i i i I, I like where this one's going. I, I've only seen the first two episodes. I haven't caught up yet. Right. Uh, the third. Oh, bruh. The third episode is out. Yeah. Oh, oh I, I, I will probably be watching that as soon as we're done here. Because <laughs> I, this one here, it's so great. The, like the premise of what, it, what they're doing. Uh, it, it is like, uh, and they kind of say it in like trailers and 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 in like you know promotional stuff for it, but it's like a three way battle between different things, uh, you know, and like it, it's so just like man, I'm looking at this the animation now as we're putting it up on the live stream, and it is just so just gorgeous. Uh, yeah, I see like, which parts you think are gorgeous. <laughs> opa, opa, boba's got it. <laughs> um. So uh, <laughs> no, it, 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 it's so you have the, these deities that uh, you know protect uh, uh, the world from these big ass demon things. Jesus Christ, this is seizure inducing. <laughs> it is a bit. Um, so the, the these demons uh, get sealed away, and eight hundred years go by, right? And uh, any new uh, guardians, these. Uh, these deities that are in uh are just these young kids that are don't know any better you know uh haven't seen you know how bad the world was when these demons are uh were whenever they were out loose um and so uh then you have like this whole uh like army militia uh mm-hmm. you know and like uh, I'm trying not to spoil stuff here, but like you start to see who makes up this militia and it starts to make sense for you. Yeah. Uh, like, let's how... just say you're asking who the real demons are. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, because they're all just people, but they're people with like enhanced kind of things. Yeah. You know, so you're still kind of like, holy crap, you know, you know, and like, the violence in this one, uh, I mean, I'm not going to say it's like on the level of, of Evie, uh, but like they go for like certain things. Like I thought characters died in the first episode, <laughs> like main characters, uh, you know, and and so uh, it, it's it's I, I, I think it's my one to watch, I'd say. Uh, that'll be that'll be yours this season. OK. Yeah. Yeah. Because like. Uh, it, it, so far, uh, there's been a few things that I've watched, uh, but this one is the one that like kind of stands out for me right now. Um, you know, uh, there's another one that I kind of dig. Uh, so can, can I just yeah. say, like, like as you were as you were describing that, without trying to go into spoilers, I was gonna say it, it sounds like every fucking RPG ever. <laughs> I guess it Doesn't kinda every anime sound like every RPG ever. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Like like every RPG is always like 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 uh who did it? I think Dorkly or College Humor, they they did a video where it's like every RPG ever, and it's random kid or kids will be the heroes of said thing, and then people are like, Oh, it's been such a long time, blah 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 blah. And then like, I heard monsters are showing up now. And it's like, well, fuck, you know who you know what's gonna happen. Because it it it's been happening. Uh, okay. Then like okay. that's that's what it sounded like like you were saying, like, oh yeah, these kids okay. uh, haven't seen demons for eight hundred years. And uh, then you have a paramilitary and I'm like, yeah, that's that's every fucking RPG. Okay, so <laughs> here's how uh Andrew might not have said said this correctly or uh said no, no. It differently and he may that... not have because like you know he's trying not to spoil anything no 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 it's not a spoiler so the kids that he's talking about aren't regular kids oh yeah, yeah no no i did kind of touch on it i didn't really say it though yeah, yeah so they are they're like, these gods they're the same gods that that fought the demons 800 uh years ago yeah so oh, think about okay. it like this you have uh a, a, a two factions the gods 
and the de- or three factions, gods, demons, humans. The gods fought the demons and were whooping ass, but then they decided they wanted to stop the demons altogether. So they sealed up all the demons mm. into a pack, but in doing so, they needed to go like to the other world where they're sealed up to hold them back and just keep them there, except for one god. Mm-hmm. Now, this god stayed around for 800 years, and over the course of that 800 years, new gods were born. And the, oh. the new gods that are born are these kids. But uh, the thing is that they grew up in a world of peace with no demons. So they're just oh. gods doing nothing. So up to a point, it was Devil May Cry just now. <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay, yeah. Okay, then guess what? <laughs> and I think you would like this one. <laughs> I think I'm gonna. Like, yeah. as- aside from, you know, the epilepsy there, I think I'm gonna. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, it was so because I got like uh, fully coolly kind of style uh, from it. Uh, yeah, you know, the, when I first uh, saw it, the color, the Kool-Aid color choices all. that they choose. Uh, I really do like that. Uh, sometimes it does get a little washed out mm-hmm. uh, with what they do. But if it's stylistic choice, I get it. Um, uh, back to like how like Jojo does it, because like Jojo will have it where everything is normal colors and then, like, they'll switch the whole palette out, you know, when it's, like, something serious, you know. And, yeah, and the, that, that, was, that was a little jarring in the beginning. Zawaldo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, Zawaldo! <laughs> yeah, so, no, yeah. like, it, it kind of bothered me because I was like, wait, does, does he have, does he have, he, he was blonde. <laughs> yeah. Why, why, yeah. Why, why does he have blue hair? Yeah, yeah, so it, it, it's kind of like that in my book. Yeah. Uh, I, I, to have these like <clears throat> hyper uh, hyper style, uh, you know, like green sky and uh, you know, like I said, the purple lines are really h- helpful in my opinion and the color popping. But um, the other thing I was going to bring up was uh, the detective is already dead. I don't know if you're watching this one, Nick. Uh, I've seen the first two, and I have the next two like queued up to watch. I mean, why, why are you watching it? The title gave it away. <laughs> I mean, isn't one of your favorite uh, books, uh, uh, John Dies at the End? Uh, it's one of mine, yeah. I mean, it's a good book. <laughs> well, they gave away the title, Dick. <laughs> uh, he got you so, there. <laughs> well, uh, well, 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 in all fairness, though. Oh, hold on. It's got a bullshit rebuttal. Let's hear it. <laughs> he didn't die at the end. Oh, way to spoil it. <laughs> he died in the beginning. <laughs> but uh, the beginning was the end. It was the end, yeah. So he still dies. <laughs> you guys Everything spoiled was it. a flashback. <laughs> you guys spoiled it. Uh, whatever. Uh, so, <laughs> so this one right here. This one is... Uh, uh, first off, I didn't know that the first episode was going to be 45 minutes long. <laughs> uh, there was, have been multiple animes this, this season, season that have done that <laughs> <laughs> and this was the first one that i had where it was like wait what this is still going on <laughs> um, well is it is it a thing where maybe they're crunch for time so they put two in one how are uh, you crunch for time <laughs> I, I don't know like like everybody's trying to play catch up from last year uh, like you guys said so it wasn't that they put like two in one because like a lot of times when they do a two in one thing you can feel that break you see where that break is yeah uh this one was like it just, just kept like going a long episode and i think it was just um they're they're trying to do something where they're trying to get all the exposition that you need to start out with in the first episode mm-hmm. uh so that everything else is can leave it on an episodic cliffhanger yep. instead of just a random like oh episode ends that that's it i guess you know yeah. So this one was su- surprising to me because uh, I didn't see this like robots uh, kind of like uh, what is the word I'm looking for? The tentacle androids. The tentacle androids. Yeah, I did not see that coming. Like I thought it was going to be a a mystery anime with murder, <laughs> and that was it. Yeah. Once you, you hear know? detective in in a story. 
uh, then you have like a base idea of what it's supposed to be. And then this kind of just throws it out there. Kind of like one of the fate series uh, yeah. shows where uh, the Magus detective or something like oh, that. Oh, right. I, right. I don't, yeah. think you, I don't think you can say that. <laughs> mm. No, it's okay. <laughs> no, no. I, I went to Wizarding Academy. It's fine. Oh, okay. Is that so the great like, Magnus Bride? No, no, no. Not Magnus Bride. That's a different oh, show. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's a different one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it was like the Magus Detect. I got I to gotta look up yeah, what the yeah. name that is. So, but yeah, like it, 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 it is one that I'm like, oh, they're just going to solve mysteries and I'm going to see that. Like, like even like the first episode, like she like is like, oh, cool. You work with me now and we're going to go solve mysteries. Cool. Got it. That's it. And then all of a sudden it's tentacle arms and, you know, other supernatural things happening that I did not expect to be a part of it. Um, I don't know if I'm in love with that, you know, and, you know, it, it the I will say the first episode had a lot of a lot of great animation, especially in the scene I got going on in the live stream right now. Uh, it looks fantastic. Oh. Mm, uh, that uh, that kind of reminds me of something. The show I was thinking of called "The Case Files of Lord El Malloy." <laughs> <laughs> Way off of Magus. <laughs> I just wanted to say it out loud. <laughs> oh man! Uh, so, what do you what do you mean? This looks familiar, Ed. I mean. Oh, the way the way an anime, well, but not oh. that like, <laughs> like the way the way it moved to attack, mm-hmm. like it looked like fucking Tokiyama, Tokiyama. Oh, okay. my hero! Like my it just hero, it, yeah. it resembles that to me. Oh, it I does. See. I see. I, I see, see what that. you're talking about. Like, yeah, dark shadow. Guy's about to uh, shadow. Calm yeah. down. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's like <laughs> like as soon as it started moving and doing its like thing, I was like that. That's fucking dark shadow. Yeah, yeah. But um, without the eyes. So, so, uh, of course, at the end of the first episode, they get into the idea how the detective is already dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's in the title, you know, and it, once that, from that point, it kind of, how does this kid mo- keep carrying on is, I guess, how the story felt to me. Um, it did some things where I'm like, I already know the end of this little segment here. Why are they stretching mm-hmm. this out as long as they can? Uh, but uh, I, it, I, I still have to get back and do it. I haven't watched it since the second one. I think they're on episode three at least right now, maybe four. Uh, it's on uh, up, up to episode four right now. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I know I'm behind on this one, but uh, I, I, I'll, I'll give it a, a sure. It's good, you know. I, it's not my pick of of the season, but yeah. It's, uh, once you get to yeah, once you get to the second episode, you really see how they're stretching out. Well, if they you know concluded the show's title on the first episode, what else are they going to show? Exactly. Uh, yeah. They yeah, they definitely pick it up uh, more in the second episode. Then uh, from there, uh, you can either stay or keep going with the show. Uh, uh so, Nick, anything that sticks out to you? Hell about, yes. If they're uh, androids, why, why did it feel pain? Uh, if they're androids, why are they able to smell? <laughs> they're able to... If they're androids, I mean, why can they take baths? <laughs> no, I mean, like, in that, a that hot just looks, spring. That, that's, just an, that's just, like, an inherent design flaw to feel pain. <laughs> like, if, smelling, I can understand. If they're robots, if they're androids, why do they have to dream of electric sheep? I get it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they fucking call them cyborgs, and that's what they are. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they're full yeah, robot. Of you, you Haka show who explained why feeling pain is not a weakness. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it it, it is. It oh my god, it's not. But okay. So Nick, just go. Go on. The, yeah, what do you got? The show that I'm thinking of is Sukumichi Moonlit Fantasy. Sounds Sukumichi Moonlit Fantasy. Boring. It sounds awful. Like uh it is an isekai in yeah. a high fantasy world with magic and dragons and shit like that. But this is the closest thing to Konosuba. <laughs> After, really uh the sci-fi konosuba um 
it's so damn funny. <laughs> it's it, it's an isekai who like the kid gets taken from from his world to mm-hmm. uh he's called forth to like take out the demon Lord in this new land. Uh, the God that takes him out, he's like, uh, he's weary to his plight and says, I'm going to help you out as much as I can. I can't do everything, but I can help you out. Uh, what you need to do is talk to the goddess that summoned you. And she's going to give you your quest to take out the demon Lord. Just kind of deal with her, please. And, uh, our protagonist, he's saying, I, okay, I don't know what that means, but sure. As soon as he talks to the goddess, the goddess like instantly chastises him like, why is this dude so damn ugly? I don't <laughs> want him around me. I'm going to, all right, here's what I'm going to do. Yes, I called you here, but I don't want you talking to any humans around me. Oh my so, God. Here, I'm going to send you to the farthest corners of the earth. Uh, here, I'll give you the smallest, like, uh goddess gift i can give you which is you can talk to any like any creature and so she flings him off and like he bursts from the skies like miles above the earth she doesn't care where he lands and she actually (laughs) says i hope you die on your way down (laughs) oh my god (laughs) jesus yeah (laughs) but uh here's the thing is that the God who brought him out, like who helped shepherd him over, he says, uh, the other gift that you have is that because you were born on earth, it like, you're actually much stronger than everyone else around here. Like their gravity and everything is, you know, uh, much lower. So you're like super OP. So this fall actually won't kill you. And he survives everything. And he's actually, He's in depth with, you know, good magics and everything, uh, just like most isekais are, right? Yeah. Um, so downside to it is that everyone he meets, he seems way too overpowered. He can barely make any friends. Uh, and then when he actually goes to a, a, um, an adventures guild and they try to find like, they try to find what his power level is and you think it's going to be super, super high in OP, but no, he's like shown as level one. So as long as he keeps himself hidden, he is a nobody, nobody. Yeah. But then he also like the cast of characters that he meets, uh, they all have their own problems. They're all super selfish. Uh, (laughs) they're only looking after themselves except, uh, once they get their ass whooped by them, then they're like, oh, no, this guy, he's the greatest guy in the world. And anybody who wants to get close to him has to go through me. And everybody tries to go through them. It's it's funny as hell. Uh, I'm, I, I judge like I like comedy animes more yeah, no, than any other anime genre, I want to say. And if. I can watch it and I get, you know, those slight chuckles. Yeah, I'll keep watching it. But any anime that makes me like, even though I, I, I watch it subbed, huh. uh, any anime that makes me laugh out loud from what I'm reading and hearing. Oh, uh, yeah, that that's that's a golden egg. This actually was not on my radar at all whatsoever. So that, that that's great. This is definitely one I'm definitely going to check out now because yeah, that. Okay. I have another friend who he's kind of similar to you, Ed, when he's just now he's getting into anime like within the last year or so. Yeah. Uh, He's watched, you know, a few of the staples and Dragon Ball Z and, you know, the big name stuff. But uh, he's trying to branch out, starting to watch animes as they come out. Um, And I he never heard of Konosuba. So once (laughs) I told him about that, he started yelling at me so much saying how dare you tell me about this great anime that's only two seasons long why didn't you tell me the cheese was so good (laughs) yeah and i told him well it's got a movie too and so we've been talking uh, about anime every now and then and then i told him about this one and he said huh i'll have to check that one out and again he just like start started yelling at me in text form but yelling at me telling me 
how could you tell me about this that only has four episodes? <laughs> this is a travesty, and like I hate you for the next week. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Until I, that next episode runs around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how, how do you how do you spell Konosuba? Uh, K O N O S U B A. Oh, it's oh okay. Konosuba. Yeah. K O. Don't worry. They'll tell you how to say it in the show. Go mm-hmm. no suba. <laughs> hey. I mean it's Kono Subarashi, but yeah, yes, Kono yeah. Suba. Um a- a- anything else you want to recommend out there? Mm, see, you got oh, oh yes. And I do have one other show, and I can't believe you didn't bring it up. I because I, I knew you were gonna talk about it. <laughs> Uh, it, is it is it is it the uh um, the isekai no where oh, it's not oh mm-hmm. oh oh is it the one i was excited about um it's the one i told you about go ahead go ahead and go ahead and say it go ahead it's and say it. urumichi unisan oh yes <laughs> okay Ed, all right you would like this show <laughs> you <laughs> would love this show urumichi unisan is Oh my goodness, like, uh, okay, the best way to explain this show is Mm -hmm. it is everything children's TV shows are, like like your Blue's Clues, your Sesame Streets, it's all that, but it's if your main character was just the most miserable, just depressed person in the world, but has to be happy and smiley. (laughs) in front of the camera and it's just i he just he can't do it anymore <laughs> and that little bit just breaks out in the middle of recording yeah so a lot a lot of the children are sort of getting concerned with this guy <laughs> and oh it's it's great because it's like when after watching this show if i recommended it to andrew because like with his daughter, uh, I'm trying to think he's watching these shows. And if he's probably thinking, what what is like going on behind the eyes of all these personalities on TV that's, you know, interacting with puppets and, you know, talking to kids and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. And, so, oh, man. I mean, I've seen this show. It was on Showtime and it was called Kidding. Kidding. Uh, I don't know that one. <laughs> it was a it was a show Jim Carrey did where he played like a Mr. Rogers type, but he was just like all fucking depressed. Um. Yeah, but this is one of those funny depressed. Yeah, it's funny depressed. It's not just sad. Like, all the like time. Louis C.K. No, no, it's not that. Okay. It's, it's 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 just like like Bo Burnham. Yeah, I'd say there. Yeah, because like you, I mean, you're I haven't still... seen it, but you guys made me not want to watch it. <laughs> no, no, I said it was hilarious. <laughs> uh, one one of the things that I love I love about this one is uh, the the people that are uh, doing the voice acting uh, on this. Uh, this the the guy that I have on the video right now. He has the most genuine laugh that I've ever heard anybody kind of uh, just record and send out, like uh, as part of the, the bit, yeah. like. He, it, it, it's so unique and it's so just heartfelt just how much he's laughing at penis. <laughs> yeah, when he hears chin chin. <laughs> like he, and he does the voice acting the same way you see it on screen where he's trying to hold in the laughter so much and we've all heard it before. It's one of those contagious laughters. Yeah. <laughs> where somebody is trying their damnedest to to not laugh at something so juvenile, but <laughs> if it's funny, it's funny. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, and like, I, I, I like it. I like that aspect of it. You know, um, I, I, the other thing I do enjoy about the anime is like, not only the main person is depressed, but everybody's so messed up in this children's show. <laughs> Like everybody's uh, got their own problems as adults do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like uh, I, I think my favorite are are the uh, the guys that dress up in the suits, the bear and the bunny, because <laughs> uh, they don't they don't want to be seen in outside of their costumes unless they're super drunk a lot. <laughs> you know, uh, I I thought that was a nice touch, and 
you know, cause, cause he's, they're, the they're, uh, the main characters, Kohai, uh, they're his, his underlings, uh, like he just will berate them if they ever do anything wrong. <laughs> and yeah, like all of them are kind of in that place where, uh, they're at this point in their lives and they're trying to figure out why am I still here? Because you'll have some children going up to uh, the main character or some or any of them and saying, or uh, so how old are you? It's like, I'm 31 years old. Like, why don't you have a family yet? (laughs) (laughs) And then they they just sink into like a little, (laughs) little depression and then start like braiding the kid on. Why are you trying? Why are you so like figure trying to figure out what I'm doing with my life? What are you doing? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. It's pretty great. Uh, so, so uh, I, I, I know we, we've gone over a few of them. These are some really great ones. Um, I was thinking you were going to bring up uh, the MyQ Black Company. Ah, that one. Yeah, yes, that's I was also thinking a good one. That that one. Uh, I watched the first episode and I got very sad. <laughs> Why'd you get sad, Andrew? It's a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> it is a comedy, yes. But oh man, it, it, the the way the comedy is, it's another isekai. So uh, it's another uh, you know person in, uh, from the regular world in another world kind of thing uh, who basically gets a job uh working at a mining facility and um it's just like it's just the worst work ever uh like it it, i i hate to say it because you know i'm just basically gonna say it uh it's like working at amazon for me uh and uh the the uh the uh the guy first episode finds a way to basically uh and I'm going to say it, enslave a bunch of people. <laughs> mm-hmm. And he... Uh, through mind just, control. Yeah, through mind control, yes. Uh, and so he basically sets a, a, a quota and makes them do all the work for him. So he gets all the credit, uh, you know. And so yeah, and when I say it, it, it made me sad, that's why. Because it hit a little too close to home. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, this is one. This is one of those uh, isekais that I do like, uh, where it is jerks uh, going to another world and continuing to be jerks. Yes, and I uh, and I that's one thing that like you kind of like watched a lot that like I kind of go okay yeah this is what I need out of my isekai. I don't need them to have a smartphone. I don't need them to uh, you know. I have the best luck in the world or anything, but mm-hmm. if they're just jerks, then yes, this, that is right up the alley of what I'm looking for. Uh, okay. So I think the last thing we can kind of go about, uh, is there was this, uh, article I saw some time ago. It was, uh, basically like, uh, the Mount Rushmore of, of anime you know it was what helped shaped everything uh you know to where it is today uh and so it got me thinking it's like okay well we, you know uh who would be on everyone's mount rushmore and and yeah like that kind of almost boils down to well what's your four favorite animes you know uh but we, nick and i were discussing it and uh we got this idea of like uh uh you know what uh what are the four four things that kind of helped shape everything in the way that it is uh and, and so i was kind of wanted to like talk about that with you guys like i know uh for me personally like if i was going to do my mount rushmore the founding fathers of anime uh you know of course uh, ikoku has to be up there somewhere you know because that's right. you know I talk about gateway drugs of anime, right? I feel like DBZ is like right there as far as this is how we you get into it, uh, you know, for everybody. Everybody, uh, you know, went through the same same kind of paying your due kind of thing, you know. So you're gonna sit through all the DBZ. <laughs> 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 I feel like that. I, I feel like you guys like- would. Like I feel like the punishment would be through sitting through GT. 
Oh man, like I, I, I as much as I like uh, never ending spirit ball episode. As <laughs> I, I, I was gonna say, like the the boo saga. <laughs> You know? I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean that's a close second. Yeah, but the saga at this was point. silly. <laughs> it yeah. was just silly. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I, it's like like what Team Four Star didn't even do that, right? They just I, went to. Well, I mean, they they I stopped don't think they because got up to it. Yeah, no, no, they they finished Cell. Uh, then they stopped doing their uh their show because they were like, Part yeah, we're, we're we're burned out. <laughs> yeah. Like they tried to do the uh, the BoJack movie, and they're like, we couldn't think of anything, Ish. <laughs> or what we did think of, we didn't like. Oh, yeah. I thought it was because like Toei sent them the the hard ban hammer. That no. could have been, but <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like they said, they said like, well, that was part of it. They were also like, yeah, uh, yeah, and we're constantly having to deal with this. I mean, we always win, but we're constantly having to deal with it. But they were like, no, we like creatively with with the a bridge series, like we we don't know what to do anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, but but yeah, like everybody would agree, Goku yeah, is I mean, up there. Yeah. You know? Uh, so my next thing would be, uh, like who are your remaining three that would shape everything? Cause, well, I mean, uh, Nick, do you agree with that? Uh, is Goku up there for you? Oh, actually. Yeah, I will say so. Okay. Because any, any anime that can sell out and create like an entire culture, like the biggest, uh, UFC or boxing fights in Mexico. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Where That's they're right. shutting down the city because of the final episode. Goku of... <laughs> I, I, I told a friend Dragon of mine. Ball. I told a friend of mine at work about that because uh, they just started watching uh, uh, Super. Yeah, uh, and. They could not believe that I had to pull up the picture and show them. Like, like no, it's real. They they had they had posters up and everything. <laughs> I I remember watching a video of people watching that episode, Ugh. and and like like uh yeah, it was the last episode. And like when they when they go the like the break, you know, when that mm-hmm. that middle part just comes up, mm-hmm. like everyone collectively like. Oh, <laughs> in the middle of fucking Mexico, I'm like, Jesus Christ! So oh, great, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Uh, so, like, entire like sections of the world, Japan, Mexico, Spain, like, uh, uh the Americas with their weebs, and yeah, mm-hmm. I'd say Dragon Ball Z definitely sticks up there because it's not only is like it its own phenomenon but for most most people it was the gateway yep yeah yep. i mean tsunami right there you yeah know. like yeah tsunami hell it was on uh um spanish public access i remember uh, a couple of times wow and yeah so that was a way for it anybody to watch it no matter where you were you're gonna see it yeah. <laughs> you're gonna see see it and it's and like, been around for so long like uh just from dragon ball and uh the old weebs who imported things from vhs they were watching that and oh, they yeah. moved up to z and then what shall not be named then super <laughs> yeah the non-canon <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. uh storyline yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah uh, so uh I, I was kind of thinking about it myself uh you know after we were talking about like what shaped everything and i'm kind of torn between two different animes because uh part of me wants to go with it because they're the longest running you know uh and, oh no <laughs> yeah and part of it is like they do sort of make uh you know up a lot of uh what i've seen to be like in just videos over in japan and whatnot and like culture wise so uh I, it's crayon shin chan or detective conan <laughs> like i feel like one of those two have to be on uh that 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 rushmore on your you know? rushmore 
Hey, it could be on my Rushmore. I feel like just overall, like I yeah, but I mean, just because they're the longest running, would you say they're the most? They're one of the most influential. I I mean, like Detective Conan is a freaking mascot of a city. Have you seen the latest episode? I have not seen latest episodes of Detective Conan though. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, so so like like I've only been made aware of this show. I think last year from Nick. And it's the one with the kid detective, right? Correct. Okay. The the grown adult trapped in a kid's body detective. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I just had to make sure you knew. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. No, That's one of those uh, sliding time scales. Yeah, he's still a kid. This show's been going on for like thirty years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. He ain't uh, never okay. getting his regular body back. <laughs> okay. So okay. Um. It, I mean, I mean, okay, it's the mascot of a city, but it, 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 can you say it's 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 that influential? I mean, well, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, go th- go through your Rushmore, and then and then like we'll go through ours, and then we'll come back and talk. Okay, well, like so, uh, yeah, I, so I guess it would have to be for me then. I'm gonna go Detective Conan with with Goku. Uh, okay. I that. Next to, uh, I mean, difficult, difficult for me to kind of figure this out. Um, it, it, again, it, it, it just, it, it, what sticks out to me is like, what do I see a lot of, you know? Mm-hmm. And I, I, as much as I hate Naruto, uh, you know, I feel like that's another one that's up there, but I feel like that goes right in the same level as Goku, you know? You know, so it's like, I don't want to put any Naruto nice. on my Rushmore. He's a fucking Goku knockoff. That's what I'm saying. No, yeah, no kidding. Not a Goku knockoff because Goku <laughs> would whoop like a kid ninja's ass. That's what I'm saying. He's, he's a knockoff. Uh, so like, <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 fucking it's fucking Lego and Duplo. <laughs> That's, yeah, I like that. <laughs> I really do. Uh, so uh, I I know Ed, you hate the call uh, that I'm about to make, but uh, I I have to go Spike. Uh, Spike Spiegel, Cowboy Bebop. I mean, again, I, I will get to it eventually, uh, but I, I see why you say it. Yeah, you know, uh, well, pers- and th- this is where it starts to get personal for me, because, yeah, that it was one of my first animes mm-hmm. uh, that I watched, and, like, uh, it, it was one that, like, from the music to the action and the animation that I was just like, yep, all about it. Like, uh, I don't own a lot of animes on DVD or Blu-ray, but I remember that was one that I was like, no, I need this physically. I need the whole, the whole collection. Because uh, a friend of mine in, in uh, high school and after high school, uh, he had it, and I was like, uh, I need it for myself now. So, uh, Spike Spiegel. Just steal his. <laughs> he, he had it locked up in a safe man <laughs> he's probably um, still got it plan the heist live your dream <laughs> <laughs> so uh goku detective conan spike spiegel um and the last one uh you know if we're just gonna make them personal you know uh let's see yeah god and i i don't want like i forget what was it i I can't remember the name of the guy it's killing me now i'm I'm, i want to sound smart but i'm not going to but um okay so tsunami had that that harem anime uh where it was the one guy and he had like tenshi muyo thank you yeah uh that's the uh, tenshi muyo it's got to go on there as well uh uh, so, for, so not Naruto, Daddy, Daddy, not, not who's Naruto. that big no. head that's okay. up there? Ah, fuck! I remember it was on Toonami, but I can't. I I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> he deserved you. he deserved to be up there, I guess. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, uh, okay, well, it's like I'm also kind of thinking it in the way of like defining genres, if mm-hmm. that makes sense, you know. And I feel like. You know, as 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 etchy as they can get, sometimes I feel like a harem anime is a staple uh, for like rom com animes. Yeah. You know, so and I, and I feel like 
you have to give credit to like Tenshi Muyo in that sense, especially with all the different ways that he, they did that stupid series. <laughs> like like yeah, they put him in I, space for crap's sake. Like I'm, I can't think if it was always being rebooted or if it was a sliding timeline. Exactly. I can't remember. A different universe or something like that. Yeah, they just slapped that name onto onto anything for like a good 10 years and then just said, nope, nope, this is a whole new thing. You got to watch it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. No. So like, I, 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 I kind of was between that and like Gundam. Uh, you know, it, again, it, it all came down to Toonami <laughs> almost in yeah. a way. And I kind of kept trying to get out of that and try to really think about it. And so that's kind of where I'm at. I was thinking Goku, Detective Conan, uh, Tenshi Muyo and uh, uh, fucking hell, I just forgot the fourth one. Uh, yeah, Spike Spiegel. Spike Spiegel. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, okay. Yeah. Nick, okay. what you got? Well, uh, then I, I was, you already said one of mine, which was Goku. Mm-hmm. So I will put Goku right up there. But you know what? Hmm. No, I want to. I don't. I want to have Dragon Ball Z representation, but I don't want Goku up there. I want to put uh, Krillin. Krillin, <laughs> because his bald head would be easier to etch in the side of a mountain. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> that is fair. Well, now, now, uh, this is a situation where you're not the one actually doing the work, Nick. <laughs> but it's, I'm the one. I I guess commissioning it <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah that's fair right, so so it's it's a cost thing for it's you a then. Cost thing. <laughs> uh, I, I i want it up there as cheaply yet as fast as possible <laughs> nick is and one frugal. i don't you don't have to worry about the nose falling off because krillin doesn't have one, <laughs> doesn't even have one. <laughs> Well, All I mean, right. Okay. I mean, if that's the case, you can just do Yamcha. All you need is the back of his head. Uh, <laughs> oh man, don't no, no man. We'll fang fist all the way, bro. I believe in it. Yeah, all the way to death. <laughs> oh, we'll just man. find a crater somewhere, and then that'll be his memorial. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be over to the side of it. <laughs> uh, okay, um, okay, Nick. You got Krillin. Okay, so. The next anime is going to be a little controversial. Ooh. Optimus Prime. Okay. Oh, you son of a bitch. You're okay. getting away with, with, with technicality. <laughs> Not a technicality. It is an what, anime. It is yeah, an what's anime. The technicality? Uh, created in Japan. Yes, it, yeah. it was you know marketed in America at a time with its Ow. dub, and it, but it was made to sell toys. And when I think influential anime that did that, yeah, Transformers, and that brought in like the wave of eighties like cartoons and anime and American that mm-hmm. you know like strove to sell sell toys, toys and <laughs> yeah. impression yeah. themselves onto children so i was like yeah okay this is a genre in itself the marketing cartoon <laughs> <laughs> okay all right yeah that's fair i mean and also Black because he's take a all robot that. <laughs> and he wears a face mask very easy to sketch oh on the side God. of a mask <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> <laughs> it's just angles. That's all it is. <laughs> you just got you oh. just got to smooth the landscape, <laughs> smooth it out. There, there it is. <laughs> like the work is almost done for you with the rock <laughs> formation. <laughs> uh, okay, like you can have somebody right. with a belt sander, and they'll be able to do it. <laughs> mm, like mm. It's almost, we just have to wait with all the rain, and the erosion might take care of it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right, so okay. you got you got Krillin, Optimus. Mm-hmm. Got two more. All right. I am a fair man, and yep. I understand what the word influential means. What yep. shaped the genre into what it is today? 
what brought in like the full like gamut of of animes that you know succeeded it hmm. i have to put a gundam up there yeah, you do i was gonna say there's gonna be a gundam in somebody's mount rushmore <laughs> So but hold on. The thing is, I'm going to put it right next to Optimus. <laughs> I was going to say, so yeah, no one knows. Robots. Well, why does he have two Transformers up there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, can you? Know, so now I'm going I'm to put you on the spot. Now, okay. All right, you're going to make fun of some of my picks here. All right, yeah, yeah, which go Gundam? Uh, what model? Oh, um, oh, what what was it? Uh, Gundam Zero. <laughs> Don't do that. No, there's no way there's a Gundam Zero. <laughs> yep, yep, Gundam Zero. No, mm -mm. Yep, yep. Uh -uh. He, he, he was the one that, that was, you know, white, had some blue, and a little bit of red. Yeah, Gundam Zero. God damn it, I set the bar too low again. <laughs> yep, you keep setting it at zero. I don't know. Just, <laughs> like, everybody's just walking over it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Krillin, Optimus Prime, <laughs> Gundam Wing Zero. Got it. Now, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> now, my last one. Uh, see, that one is really tough because yep. uh, I'm trying to. I I I can go with like super influential anime like um if we're not just talking shows but also movies so you know the things like princess monoke or howl's moving castle things like that yeah yeah uh but i i i don't, I don't want none of those ugly characters on my on my mouth <laughs> okay what are you putting on then all right but then <gasps> uh, i just thought about it you're gonna go like a Fucking cheap char uh, character like Calcifer, or like one of the dust bites, aren't you? What? No. What? What is a Calcifer? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Continue. All right. Uh, then you got uh, the animes that are ruining animes today, where everything's a fucking isekai. And then I was trying to trying to figure out, well, who would I put up there? Because I'm definitely not putting Kirito. Mm. Uh, that's sword art bitch but then <laughs> uh like what are the original uh uh or older isekais that sort that you know already did it before it was the super popular thing and okay. one that i can think of that i did like it, it was adult swim inuyasha Oh because yeah, that is an isekai from mm -hmm. uh, the girl standpoint in, into mm -hmm. the feudal Japan. And what I like about that, it's not fucking high fantasy, but you know, uh, mystical ancient Japan, or not ancient. Japan, I was gonna say, but it's yeah, like, it's you know, fucking nineteen hundreds Japan. Uh, Calcifer is a great character, uh, says Arisai. And yes, that is correct. Uh, Calcifer was the little, uh, the little fire, uh, character, uh, in, uh, Howl's Moving Castle. You feed the eggshells to it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I That's why seen I... Howl's Moving Castle in, like, 20 years. Okay, because I was wow. like, man, you're gonna go cheap out and just do a little fire character, and boom. Oh, so <laughs> just, just put, like, a torch... <laughs> <laughs> on the side of my mountain. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, okay. So which character from Inuyasha though? Uh all right, so hmm. I would I would definitely put uh so I would put Inuyasha. Yep. His dad. His uh, <laughs> so his sword. His dad's what? His dad's tooth. Oh my god. <laughs> So, so yeah, his sword. Okay, and that that will just be like jettisoning out. But see, <laughs> it's actually more expensive because then I have to like hire people to smelt a bunch of metal, and then stab it into the side of my mountain. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so so it, it is literally the sword 
stabbed into the mountain. <laughs> yes. So it goes Krillin, Optimus Prime, Gundam Wing, and Sword. <laughs> uh, from Inuyasha, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It, and you know what? I am going to get the foot traffic to my <laughs> national park because people are going to be like, Asking questions like, "What's with the sword?" Well, see, there's a whole story about that. <laughs> so, so like, and why are there two transformers? <laughs> I'm picturing it as in like, uh, you're only saving money for the other characters so you can smelt of steel to make a giant sword. <laughs> see, when we and you know what, my Mount Rushmore is going to be useful too. Is because <laughs> when when we eventually have like aliens invade and we come come as a people to start oh, no. making giant robots, <laughs> you get the... they're, they're going to get in a fight and they're going they're go, they're going to need a giant weapon. Oh, we got one. <laughs> <laughs> we got a giant sword. <laughs> <Fucking> sword. <laughs> oh my god! That's why the the parks and <laughs> rec department they're like he's a visionary of our time. <laughs> And he's a weeb. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and and uh, so you're gonna be the greenest out of all of us. But I feel like you've got enough under your belt so you uh, can make your personal Rushmore. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel I feel like uh, I can do this. I can do this. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, we got the first one's gonna be Dragon Ball Z. But 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 for me, uh, I'm not gonna put Goku in there. I, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the best character, Roshi. Roshi, Master Roshi. Oh. Yes. Is he gonna be like just calm, Roshi, or is he gonna be? Oh, I mean, I just saw, but <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, so the idea is that that Roshi would be there with like I just saw a butt face, so I can see his two teeth. <laughs> okay. But <laughs> also like, like maybe have a little. A little, a small waterfall coming out of his nose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was gonna say you, you, you put like eyes that look at the park guests, but you know which guest he's looking at. <laughs> <laughs> well, ro- remember, Roshi wears glasses. Oh yeah, you're you're not gonna know because uh-huh. of the rock. <laughs> ah, that, that's the allure of Roshi. <laughs> oh, he could be looking at everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. All right, so I got Roshi uh-huh. and. Then uh would you would you dye the water like the way Chicago dyes the river for St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> would you dye the water red? <laughs> oh, then you could just have it constantly recirculating. Exactly. Or oh my just god, add can... iron to the water, that way the natural oxidation will make it red. <laughs> that too. No, I was gonna say, like you can uh have it like a like you know, on a timer. So mm. it's not always doing it, it's just Ooh, doing it at certain times. Like an old faithful situation. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Exactly. That way, you know, some people where they can feel special, like, oh my god, he's doing it because of me. <laughs> Damn, Andrew, your Mount Rushmore sounds boring. It really does. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> man, I think it's too serious. <laughs> okay, I mean, okay. I mean, I mean, I kind of took it seriously too, but I was also like, uh, no. <laughs> I took all of mine serious. I chose everyone who I wanted to choose, but you know, I, I took some liberties. <laughs> you took liberties so you could make a fucking sword. Uh, second character. I mean, it's it's gonna be the same as Nick. I'm I'm gonna have fucking Gundam there. Yeah. Uh. You know, the OG one. The mm-hmm. OG one? So Yeah, the RX-78. Uh, 78, the unicorn? Yeah. yeah. Got it. Nice. Uh, That's a good call. Uh, I'm disappointed that none of, nobody picked Death Scythe. Man. <laughs> Death Scythe? Oh, that, that, that was supposed to be you, man. You, you, didn't, you didn't pick Death Scythe? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's on me. You, you fucked up. <laughs> Your Rushmore is, like, not cool. <laughs> it's you could not have a, as a fun and elaborate. Scythe. Sticking out of your Rushmore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, so uh, Gundam is number two. Number three uh, is going to be... Kaneda. Really? Kaneda. His bike. Ah, uh, mm. you... 
Okay, it's recognizable. Yeah, because, I mean, fucking Kanada is like, he's just the plainest looking character if you just look at him. He really is. Yeah. Also, Nothing also special about him. his name isn't Akira. Don't play that, guys. <laughs> it's... Yeah, don't, don't do that. Yeah, Akira's the chick. So... <laughs> <laughs> Toriyama. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> uh, as for my fourth, like this is where it got tricky because mm-hmm. I couldn't I couldn't decide on on anything with this one. Like it, it, there, there's too much because I took it I took it like you said like what was more influential on on most genre, but also like what's recognizable. Okay. Um, so so just to re. re- reiterate you got master roshi you yeah. got uh the unicorn rx78 yeah mm-hmm. okay uh y- you you just added which one again i'm sorry kind is bike kind of bike I, I, how do you I how do you to ask is it the size of a motorcycle on the side of a mountain or a mountain-sized motorcycle <laughs> so the way my rushmore <laughs> is is turning out to be is that it's 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 going to be on the end to make up the rest of the mountain range. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I can see how that would work. Yeah. So it's like on the right or something and it just th- shapes the rest of the bike from Correct. the front. Got yes. it. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Um but yeah, no, like I uh, I couldn't choose for the fourth one cuz I don't know what I want. Um, because it was a toss-up between Sailor Moon. Mm. I I thought about that too. I I thought about Sailor Moon as well. Uh, the fucking electric rat. Yeah, I did think about that, but then that's what uh, got my mind to Transformers because that's just made to sell. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Pikachu. That's what you're saying. Like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, yeah. Pikachu. Okay. Pikachu. Yeah. But then I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go another movie route and uh, uh, Kusanagi from Ghost in the Shell. Ah. Mm. Yeah. In the in the shape of Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. <laughs> She was re about top it's billing. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but she's she's like in the middle. She's before the bike. <laughs> oh my god. Roshi gosh. is top billing. Roshi is what gets you there. <laughs> Roshi is what you pay to see. <laughs> Roshi is what you pay to see, and the bike gets you away from it. <laughs> I feel wow. like there's there's like a, a little tram that's in the shape of the bike that gets you to, <laughs> <laughs> to this rush <Rushmore. laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like so, no, no. Oh my God! If there was a tram, no. If there's a tram, fucking Voltron lions. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. I I'd visit that. <laughs> mm. Man, like y'all y'all knocked it out of the park. <laughs> I feel uh, sad for my. I mean, rep- we got the assignment. We just you know, <laughs> did what we <laughs> needed to do with it. Would would you would you like to uh, update your your Rushmore like not the choices but that you've made but the uh-huh. uh, implementation? Man, like like I would, but now I feel like it's a cheap cop out. You know, yeah, <laughs> nah, man, just like, just make just make Goku's hair like a uh, a base jumping thing. <laughs> <laughs> Need to add some attractions. You got it. Got people it. in. Yeah. Oh, could it be? Um, Spike with a cigarette in his mouth. Whoa, and whoa, so whoa, it's constantly... smoking. <laughs> we, we want families coming to. <laughs> oh, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> um, I, Tenchi Muyo had Master Roshi face a lot. We'll just give him that. <laughs> I'll just be derivative. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Uh... So, oh, fuck, like, Ryooki plushies in the gift shop. Oh yeah, I could do Lurioki. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> That'll sell. Those will move. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh 
okay. Yep. Anime is just made to sell toys. <laughs> uh, uh, and there's, the, there's the title of the of the episode right there. <laughs> oh my god! Actually, no. I thought of one better. Mm-hmm. Instead of ScarJo. Okay. Can I change mine? Go ahead. I'll allow okay. it. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, instead of instead of that, the Mach Five. <laughs> can it be? Oh, can it be? Yes. Um, just the monkey and his kid sister. <laughs> no, no, no. My, my, mine is brother. like my, mine oh, goes, his brother. Mine goes from like people to machine to just fucking vehicles. Vehicles, yeah. Like this oh. is this is influential anime here. Can Pervert, I, can I, robot, car, bike. Can I? Can I just real quick? If I if for the formation, could you do Mach Five, Gundam, Roshi, Akira bike? You know, get a little bit of symmetry there. Yeah, but I, I want I want Roshi to be like the first thing you see, see <laughs> and, his, before, and his bleeding nose. See, it was before you said the uh, the fourth one that I was like, well, why don't you just combine them all? Just get Roshi's head on a Gundam body riding <laughs> the bike. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a Voltron mountain over here, really. Yeah, but that's just a statue. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and that wasn't the assignment, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I feel like that's a good stopping point there. Uh, well, I just want to say, uh, if you guys have your own Rushmores that you want to talk about, please let us know. Uh, we'd to love to hear department. from you. <laughs> Wait, what? Submit it to the planning department. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, just to make sure. Just uh, round you... shit for Nick. If you go outrageous, make sure that you can pay for it. So go with the, the smaller characters uh, <laughs> and other parts. Uh, but yeah, I, I thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, I, I think I had a lot of fun this episode. I don't know about you guys. Um, so, uh, you know, nah, if was, you do have... fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he if... gave me homework and everything. I did. To I did. How to make a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> No dynamite or nothing. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, but yeah, like if you guys got your own Rushmore, let us know. Uh, Facebook.com slash Real Ranting Media. Uh, definitely engage us there. Uh, I think we still were talking about doing a, a, a public Discord for everybody. Uh, so more on that. Just keep your eyes peeled on the Facebook when we get around to it. We got a lot of stuff we're working on, uh, you know, to make it very entertaining for everybody so um i know tomorrow we have uh another one of our monday streams so we hope that you can join us for that where we're going to be playing the strange brigade uh so uh it's a lot of fun uh you know and then all of us have rtx cards so i know we're all burning that except for ed no he has an rtx yeah but he didn't turn on rtx last time we played it oh that's right so, uh, no, yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't, I, I, I used Vulcan. That's what it was. Yeah, that's what it was. Have yeah. Oh, well, fuck, I'll turn it on tomorrow. Jesus. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, well, well, with that being said, uh, thank you guys once more, once again. Uh, we'll let you know, uh, if we get a fourth episode, uh, of you Eat Trash. <laughs> Uh, you know, let let the guys know on Facebook as well. Let them know that hey, you want more episodes of Neat Trash because this is a lot of fun. Uh, so, with that being said, though, uh, good night from me, Andrew. Uh, from good night from Ed. Good night from Nick. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Right. All right. Bye. Tune in next time for the Strange Brigade tomorrow, <laughs> eight p.m. Central. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye.